Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rudy Lopez. You can call me Professor Lopez, and I'm excited to be your instructor for the next eight weeks. Uh, I just want to thank you for registering for the class. The class is Interpersonal Communications, and it is an online class. So that basically means that we will not have any live meetings or dates where we have to meet together. Uh, it's strictly online. Go as, at your own pace. And again, there's going to be no remote live uh, type of meetings. This is strictly a, an asynchronous class. So excited to have you in the class. And uh, all the assignments and all the activities are going to be online. You go as fast as you want to go, as long as you finish by the deadlines. And for the next eight weeks, um, I'm just excited to really share with you some exciting information about interpersonal communications. I think you'll really appreciate the course and the, the method and the ways that I, uh, you know, provide the information for you. And I think you'll get a lot of value out of this class. So thank you for being in this class. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to just uh, talk to you a little bit about the class, a little bit of my expectations, as well as what you can expect from the course, and also some of the major themes that I'm going to be going over throughout the next eight weeks. Uh, like I said, um, all the assignments are already there in the modules. Some of the assignments still need to be unlocked as I'm still trying to finish them and get them ready for you. Uh, for some of the themes that I'm going to be talking about that are not included in the textbook. So there is a ebook that is provided for you for free at no cost. And I want you to read the chapters in the book. Each module takes about two weeks to complete. So there's four modules. Each module is two weeks of work to do. And the modules include um, lecture reading, a discussion board each week, and then one writing assignment that's going to be due before the end of the module. In addition to that, you will have a quiz to take for every module. And then we'll move on to the next module and the third and the fourth, and then the semester is over. So I'm excited to share with you some important theories and concepts that I think contribute and complement the textbook. So a lot of what you're going to read in the textbook uh, is required and you do have to take the test, the quizzes from the book, but I'm also going to be bringing new information from various uh, disciplines such as psychology, such as, um, you know, psychology, communications theory, economic behavior, and that sort of thing uh, in order to help you um, you know, the information will not only help you to understand the book a little bit, but also a lot of other things that's relevant and important to interpersonal communication. So if you give me a second, I'm going to share the screen real quick so that we can go over what you can expect in the classroom. All righty. So I'm in the uh, course module, CMST 101 online class. It begins today until December 12th, 21. It'll go by really fast. So there's a little message there welcoming you to interpersonal communications, instructor contact, the best way for you to contact me is via email. I do provide you my cell phone, but please do not call me. Please just use the text if you need to get a hold of me. But I want you to use text messaging as a last resort. I want you to first try to communicate with me via email. Give me about 24 hours for me to respond to you. I also want you to access uh, Pronto. Uh, I will be downloading Pronto on my cell phone, so if you need to reach me regarding the assignments, uh, do reach me by Pronto. And then as a last resort, I want you to text me if I do not respond to Pronto in a timely fashion, then you can text me. But I do a good job of trying to, you know, respond as quickly as possible. So again, email first, Pronto second 
text message third if necessary. And uh, if you need to schedule an appointment with me, uh, feel free to reach me with those three forms of contact, and then we can schedule a Zoom meeting to go one-on-one -on -one to address any questions you may have, any concerns you may have, or if you just want some feedback about how you're doing in the class or some of the coursework assignments, okay? So <clears throat> my information's there for contact information. Again, the course textbook is Introduction to Interpersonal Communications. I do provide a the full ebook textbook to you. It's 367 pages broken down to into 11 chapters, I believe. But in the modules, I actually do break it down so that you don't have to go scroll through the entire ebook. I do break it down into the various chapters and give them to you in, in individual chapters for you to read. So you don't have to download the entire book unless you want to, but I just wanted to have it there for you. So I want you to always take a look at the introduction because the introduction will tell you what exactly you can expect in the module. It'll tell you what activities are in the module. It will also tell you what the learning objectives of are going to be for the module and then um, take a look at the page that speaks to the reading of the chapters uh, specifically i have it already laid out there chapter one a uh, little description and then chapter two a little bit of description and then chapter three and i do provide all the individual chapters for this week the most important thing is to complete discussion board number one, uh, the student introductions. And I want you to be as detailed as possible. I want you to don't just answer the question in the shortest amount of time as possible, because what I'm trying to do in this class is I'm really trying to focus on critical thinking and your ability to articulate yourself, articulate your ideas, express yourself. And then uh, again, um, give us knowledge about yourself okay so the way that i'm grading the discussion boards is that if you want to get the maximum points you gotta give me more than just a few short answers because if you do that i can guarantee you you're most likely not going to get the full 15 points if you're looking to get the full 15 points which i i highly encourage you to do so i want to see you critical thinking i want you to articulate your ideas, uh, your insights, uh, your your knowledge, and I want depth. I want depth. So I'm looking for really good discussions, uh, replies in which you definitely you know uh, stimulate me intellectually. Don't just okay. It ask the question and you just answer it in a few words. Uh, give me some depth answer the question, but also tell me why, tell me why you think this way, why are you, uh, why did you write the sentence or the statement that you did and give me some backstory, some insight and knowledge. Okay, so critical thinking. As I mentioned that there's gonna be discussion boards uh, for the modules and for the first module, the first two weeks of the class, we're going to go over perception and self-concept. In addition to that, uh, we're going to go over just real quickly on the last page of the last couple pages of the uh, syllabus. The first theme of the class is going to be on attachment theory. So I'm going to introduce to you attachment theory, which is not in the book. Uh, but I feel that attachment theory is extremely important to interpersonal relationships and interpersonal communications because attachment theory uh, affects how we show up in our relationships and our friendships, how we interact in these relationships, and also provides clues and insights into the things that um, trigger us, how we are affected when our emotions are triggered, how we deal with conflict and how we go about in addressing or trying to find uh, some type of resolution in our relationships. So attachment theory is extremely important. 
and um, and then I'm going to be talking about um, about it in the first uh, module. So when I actually uh, for the first module, the actual chapters you have to read them, and then you'll have the um, the actual uh, quiz to take. Uh, I haven't set the dates yet, but the dates will probably be in the, uh, you know, the first quiz, the first week, second in the middle of the week and third week, the last week of that sort of nature. So uh, I'm probably going to still put the PowerPoint presentations on there. I probably uh, maybe will lecture about a few of these things in the chapters, uh, chapters one, two and three, but I am definitely going to upload a video uh, regarding a lecture regarding attachment theory. So for the four modules, you can be, ex you can expect to receive an email or an announcement from me telling you that the lecture for the theme of the module is up and possibly a, a lecture video regarding the chapters for the module. I do want you to take notes and I do want you to definitely pay attention to the, the lectures uh, themes, because even though you have to take uh, quizzes for the individual chapters uh, and there's gonna be, every module is gonna have quizzes that are coming from the chapters in the book. But however, the final exam is most likely going to have uh, questions related to the themes that I'm going to talk about that is outside of the book. Okay, I'm going to repeat that again. The final exam is going to have questions related to the video lectures that I'm going to talk about the themes that you're going to be uh, exposed to in the next eight weeks. So attachment theory is going to be on the final exam. And so expect that, but I want you to be watchful and looking for, and I want you to log in uh, every couple of days or when you do log on, do check periodically in the course, in the Canvas course, to see if I've added any additional pages to the module, but you should be expected to see um, an additional uh, page that's adding the lectures for the chapters and also the lecture for the theme of the module. Okay. And then obviously based on what you're learning, what the, the focus of the module is, you're going to have to do an assignment. So for example, your first assignment is going to be on attachment style in which you're most likely going to have to identify what you think your attachment style is and how it has affected you, not uh, currently as an adult in your relationships, whether romantic, with your family, with your friends, or with your colleagues at work. So you're, you're gonna be expected to identify what your attachment style is, provide detailed analysis and insight of how you uh, show up in your relationship as a result of your understanding of the attachment style, and then you're, just, you're gonna submit the paper. So uh, the first discussion board is student introductions. The next discussion board, discussion board number one, is the big five personality traits. And then the second discussion board is archetypes and personality. Each of these discussion boards are going to have uh, information, possibly videos, and possibly links to websites in which you're going to have to take a quiz or you're going to have to type in some information in order to identify uh, what I'm asking for in the discussion board. And then uh, what's expected from you is, again, to answer those questions and then provide detailed insight analysis, context, and then also provide, you know, just critical thinking and be able to express yourself and articulate yourself while also, in addition to replying to the question prompts that I put there, you're expected to reply to two of your classmates and provide constructive criticism, feedback, any ask any questions or, or that sort of thing. So I'm expecting you to be engaged. And the purpose of the discussion boards is opportunity for you to self-reflect 
for you to have self-awareness, for you to learn a little bit about yourself, but also to gain insight and knowledge about the subject of interpersonal communications and in re re relationships, and to learn from your from your classmates. Your classmates probably will provide information or knowledge that can enhance your life and information that you can apply into yourself or also to your relationships, but also offer you a different perspective. So the discussion boards are a moment of reflection, but also learning and learning more about ourselves and about others and how to better become better communicators and how to show up better in our relationships. So Again, 15 points for the discussion boards. But again, if you're looking for maximum points, I do expect detailed insight analysis and context. Do not just answer short questions because you will not get the full credit. And as I always like to say in my classes, do not leave points on the table. And then the assignments, again, you're going to be expected to write two or three pages in the MLA format. They're worth 25 points. And... Um, you know, I'm excited to read your assignments. I'm excited to learn more about yourselves. Uh, and then it repeats for the next one. So module two, we will be discussing verbal and nonverbal communications and active listening. You will read the chapters. The discussion board will be on the five love languages. You're going to be expected to take a quiz to identify what your five love, what your love language is. And then discussion board, conflict and relationships. The assignment number two is going to be on emotional intelligence and then the three quizzes and then we repeat again. So module three, uh, weeks five and six, we're going to be diving into relationships, emotions and conflict. Uh, there's the chapters there. Then you're going to be learning about the subconscious mind and the role that the subconscious mind plays in uh, affecting your thoughts, behavior, your thoughts, emotions, and behavior, and how it affects the what, how you identify yourself, your identity, and also the story that you tell yourself, which becomes your perspective of how you show up in the world. So discussion board number five is on the subconscious mind. Then I will introduce to you a new concept about the energy and consciousness scale, uh, which has a lot to do with also how your current interactions with people are the kinds of people that you attract into your life. And then assignment three is going to be focused on emotions, triggers, and blind spots. You're going to be learning about the Johari window, and you're going to understand what the blind spots are, and you're going to have to do a little assignment where you have to ask your closest friends or your family or your romantic partner to share with you what they think your blind spots are. What are some of the things that we might not be aware of, but that constantly we repeat them as patterns in our relationships and, but we just don't see it because we have confirmation bias. So that's exciting because it, it's always important to get feedback from others about the things we cannot see. And, but it's important to be aware of them so that we can uh, show up better in our relationships. And then again, you have the quizzes. And then module number four, we're going to be focusing on intercultural international cultures and gender and the last two chapters on chapters 10 and 11 and then discussion board number seven is going to be patriarch and matriarchy the concept of that discussion board number eight has to do with masculine and feminine polarity and then you're going to have an assignment a very exciting assignment in which you're going to learn about Hofstede's cultural dimensions theory, and you're going to have to write an assignment on that. Then you have the final exam, and that's the end of the class. So I'm very excited about this class. I love teaching about interpersonal communications. And then just to, to show you, uh, the way I've broken down this class is that it's important to learn a lot about yourself because it's, you know, a lot of people think that, oh, great, I'm taking a class on interpersonal communication to learn how to talk to people. Uh, yes, you will learn that. However, I think it's important to understand that interpersonal 
relationships or interpersonal communications goes beyond deeper in the sense that before we can show up in the best version of ourselves in our friendships and relationships or at work or with our romantic partners, we have to learn about ourselves first, how we're wired, what are our blind spots, what are our triggers, what is our emotional uh, intelligence, what is our attachment style, uh, what is the personality that we have, right? And those, all those things combined together uh, influence how you communicate with yourself, how you communicate with others, uh, whether you are communicating effectively or whether you're, you're just uh, someone that cannot control their emotions, right? So the success of our relationship is dependent upon how well we know ourselves, but also how well we acquire the tools needed in order to be able to be effective in our relationships. So in this class, we I've broken it down into four major themes of friendships, co-workers, romantic partners, and family relationships. So we're going to touch on those four things um, because essentially those four pillars are the types of relationships that we have, right? We all have friends, some of us more than others. We have to go to work and we have to interact with all these um, wonderful employees that either they're born and raised here in America or they come from other countries, either they're multiracial, uh, they have different genders, identities and that sort of thing. So, and, and yet we come into this uh, workforce or the place that you work at, and we have to learn how to how to interact with each other, how to collaborate together, how to work together as a team, but also how to address conflict when it come when it when it happens, which always does happen, and how do we continue to work towards the common goal? Uh, in addition to romantic partners, why is it that some people are more successful than others in relationships, and what are some of the challenges that you have? in your relationships and why do you possibly attract certain partners more of the same type of certain partners uh and why is it that we have toxic relationships and healthy relationships right so very important that we understand the the core issues of these things and then your family relationships getting along with your parents with your siblings your cousins of that nature and so uh, we're going to learn about that, but also I've identified important themes that I think are important for you to know to take away from this course, because if you apply these things, if you, if you embrace these theories and these concepts, I can assure you that you will, sh you will see improvement in your relationships, or at least you'll, you'll be uh, having that self-awareness of how to be more compassionate and kind and understanding because that's the whole goal, right? We want to be able to understand others and understand human phenomena and human nature. So the first theme that's not in the book, but it's a theme that I think is very important is attachment theory. That will be the focus of module one. Uh, module number two, the theme is effective communication in relationships. Let's face it, folks, uh, not very many people actually do know how to communicate effectively. Unfortunately, we're living in times where people think that communicating is ghosting, being toxic, uh, being passive aggressive, or giving somebody the silent treatment. Those things are, that's not effective communication. So it, in order for us to have effective communication, we need to understand our attachment, our attachment style. We need to understand our personality traits. We need to understand our subconscious mind, all these other things that are coming from other disciplines, but very relevant to our course in order for us to be better communicators. So effective communication and relationships uh, is another theme. And then we will be going over that in module two. 
And then in module three, we will I will introduce to you the cognitive triangle, which comes from the discipline of psychology, in which if you understand the cognitive triangle, which has to do with how the thoughts affect our emotions and how our emotions affect our behavior, you will have a better understanding of human nature and human behavior and have a little bit more understanding of why the people around you do the things that they do. And you'll have compassion and empathy uh, when they do things that tend to trigger you or that you find uh, is disrespectful or, um, you know, detrimental or toxic, right? So the cognitive triangle is another one. And then we're going to learn about communication across cultures in which we are going to go over the cultural dimensions theory, because let's face it, we are a country that is blessed with immigrants and um, immigrants and international people from all over the world. And especially here in California, we have a lot of people from all over the all over the globe. Right. So I have friends. I just met a new friend. I have a new friend. Uh, she's from Egypt. And I'm just excited and delighted to learn a lot about her culture and uh, her history and the food and the traditions and all of that. And also how to communicate effectively to someone from Egypt. Right. So but I also have friends from Hungary, friends from Germany, Russian friends, Ukrainian friends, Polish uh, friends from South Korea, from Thailand, from China, uh, South Africa, all over the world. And I can tell you that as an American, it's extremely, even Mexico and South America, it's extremely important to understand how to communicate with people from other cultures. And we're going to learn about the cultural dimensions theory, which is going to expose us, uh, the differences and the, the things that we need to be mindful of when we interact with people of different countries in order so that, again, we find common ground in order so that we have understanding of each other and not to allow ourselves to assume that they understand, but it's about communicating effectively to people of other cultures, right? So those are the four major themes. And uh the theme in module four i may add another one because the communication across culture does come from the book uh i thought i added it but i didn't but we are going to go over probably one more thing uh another theme but it'll be in module four and then uh again these these themes are not necessarily from the textbook okay so you do have to read the textbook but these are themes that i think are extremely important and I do talk about them, but I can assure you, you'll you'll appreciate them. You'll you'll enjoy it. You'll find it useful and relevant, and you can apply it into your life, and it'll enhance your your uh, communication skills in your relationships. So, um, this class starts today. It ends December twelfth. The last day to drop the class is November twenty eighth, uh, with a W. The last date drop date without a W is October 27th. So you need to stay on top of your work. The last day to get a refund is October 24th. So again, this is self-paced. You go at your own pace. Uh, my feeling is that if you are disciplined, if you're responsible, if you have good time management skills, if you're accountable to yourself, you're gonna do fine in this class. If you're the kind of person that you are disorganized, you don't have a good system in place to guide you and keep you on check and keep you responsible, you're going to get behind very quickly. So I'm going to be paying attention to see who's actually logging into the course. I'm going to be paying attention who does the assignments. And if you're missing the assignments, and if you are missing the assignments and if you miss too many, I'm probably going to send you an email saying it's probably best for you to drop the class because one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to accept late assignments and I'm not going to accept excuses unless it's a medical reason or unless you email me ahead of time that you're going to be traveling or you're going to be out on business or you got something serious going on. 
um, then I will make the exception, but I'm not going to um, be flexible just because you forgot or you were too lazy or you didn't put on your calendar or you forgot to log in and you didn't know. I'm not going to accept that kind of excuses. So I hope that you definitely put together a system and manage yourself and hold yourself accountable and don't get behind. This class is a very, I don't think the class is very hard and I don't think I've added a lot of uh, assignments to make the class difficult because you all have other classes. So I think I'm very flexible and generous with the assignments because I know other professors that teach eight weeks, they really pack on a lot of assignments every day. Uh, I didn't wanna do that. So I hope that you prove to me that you can manage yourself and stay on top of the coursework and everything. So uh, the rest of the syllabus is there for you to read it. Uh, just real quickly, inter this course description is interpersonal communication, examines how we communicate in relationships. This course is designed to teach you the fundamental concepts uh, related to interpersonal communication across a variety of interactions, such as those with your friends, coworkers, family members, and romantic partners. Again, the four pillars of this class. In addition, we will explore how culture, language, emotions, listening, nonverbal communication, personal experiences, and our self-concept impact how we express ourselves. You will learn basic theories of interpersonal communication, and we will have an opportunity to apply those theories and concepts to your daily life. Being an effective communicator helps people develop and maintain healthy relationships. Effective communicators are also perceived as more credible and competent in the workplace and also in relationships. I, I get complimented a lot by people saying, wow, you communicate very well. You're, you're so good at communications and you're very articulate and you know how to express yourself. And I wasn't born with it. I developed it. Okay, I actually... I wanted to be a good communicator. I, I was I was I wasn't having success in relationships of various types, uh, you know, in my early years. And so, you know, the things that I've learned of how to be a better communicator and how to have healthy, thriving relationships, you know, it, you have to make that investment, okay? And you have to do your part to make sure that you're contributing to the success of a relationship. And in order to do that, you have to uh, embrace these concepts and ideas. And then uh, being a skilled communicator is something that you can learn. Okay, so uh, what I ask from you is be open-minded. Be open-minded to these concepts in the class. Some of these class, some of these assignments and some of these themes are going to require you to look deep within yourself and to really try to understand yourself. And that's where self-awareness comes. And I ask you to just be open-minded, uh, have a growth mindset and be willing to self-reflect and be willing to look deep within yourself and be willing to examine yourself in the context of your past relationships, whether they were healthy, not healthy, what did you contribute to them? What do you think you went wrong? Uh, what do you think were some of the reasons why things didn't work out? And also what could you have done better? Because hopefully the goal is that you will grow and evolve and become a better person and also uh, be a better communicator because relationships are complex human beings are complex and everybody has a past. Everybody has a different upbringing. Everybody has different life experiences and everybody, uh, you know, we've all had challenges and adversity and trials in our lives. And we've all had, uh, you know, relationships that have gone bad and, and then we have healthy ones, right? So what can we learn from them that's going to continue to motivate us to continue to become better and better as individuals, but also what are ways in which we can do better in the next relationship or with our next friendships or in the workplace. So all I ask for you is, is be prepared, 
to dig deep, be prepared to be honest with yourself and to, you know, to contribute to this class and the discussion. I look forward to reading all your assignments and reading your insights and your knowledge because for me, it's a learning experience as well, too. And uh, I hope that you'll you'll enjoy the the lectures and the videos and the work that I provide. And um, and then, um, you know, just do your best. But I do ask that you just communicate with me. So communicate with me early. Don't wait till the last minute. Uh, be upfront about things and don't wait till the last minute to bring things to my attention. Uh, communicate, communicate with me and based on on what your needs are. I'm here to help you, but I can't do the work for you. And I do expect you to deliver your best work. I am expecting you to be extremely good writing. I'm looking for good writing in your assignments. I'm looking for uh, good um, critical thinking because this class, I want you to be critical thinking. I want to read your thoughts, your critical thinking thoughts, your self-awareness, how much knowledge or self-awareness you have about yourself. And I want you to be able to articulate and express yourself uh, in an articulate manner. And I want that to come across in your assignments. So, you know, I'm expecting your best work in your discussion boards, as well as your assignments, your writing assignments. And um, that's that's the gist of the class. So for me, I read a lot. I research a lot. I study daily human nature, human behavior. I'm a person that reads a lot of books on trying to understand the psychology of the mind, how to understand the differences between males and females, uh, people's tendencies, people's patterns, um, our attachment styles, what our motivations are, understanding toxic people, people that are driven by ego, dark psychology, trying to understand uh, this new environment that we're in, in which people are ghosting and gaslighting people, uh, people are being manipulative. So I spent a lot of time really trying to understand the phenomena around us and where we're at today as far as dating, relationships, in the workplace, and then within our families, in our friendships, and then also the the way that human nature is, right? Human behavior. And I think I, I, I bring all of that, and even though this is a communications course, but I bring a lot of very important knowledge and information from the fields of neuroscience, from the field of, of psychology, economic behavior, as well as communications, but even outside disciplines that I can't remember right now, but I think are very relevant in helping you understand yourself better, but also to understand your family better, your brothers and sisters better, your friends better, your coworkers, and then if you're in a relationship, how to have better understanding of your partner. If you're single, use this information to better attract uh, a secure attached individual into your life so that you can avoid heartbreak and suffering because you're dealing with somebody that has uh, bad motives uh, and that sort of thing. So uh, I hope you enjoy the class. Thank you again for, for listening to this short video. Uh, I don't know how long it is, but uh, just thank you. And I, I'm happy you're in the class. I look forward to learning about you. Let's have a great eight weeks. And uh, thank you again for registering for this class. And again, you can always email me or send me a text me message and let me know what you think of the class, how you're doing in this class, anything that I can help you with. I'm here to help you succeed, but just I need you to do your part. I'll do my part. I need you to do your part. Give me your best bring your best and let's have a great class. So thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Have a good evening. And uh, reminder, please get the student introductions done by October 20th. You need to answer the questions and then reply to two of your classmates. So thank you for your time and have a great evening. And we'll talk soon. And again, be on the lookout for an actual 
video regarding the themes and then a video possibly regarding the chapter assignments. Okay. Thank you for your time and have a great evening. Take care.